Hey everybody, Ryan here from Cold Harbor Supply, and today we're going to be looking at this newly released Nocturne Industries FDE mount and its kind of hidden features. First off, how to convert this to a force to overcome mount, then how to adjust the tension on each mounting surface, and finally, how to install these rubber pads. So you can treat this as an instructional video. So when you get this mount out of the box, you'll probably notice that it's a push button mount, much like many other mounts on the market. So you push this button to stow it, and it's gonna be nice and tight, and then you push it to deploy it. It's otherwise locked out like so. So another function that this mount has is you can actually remove this button and then convert it to a force to overcome mount. If I were to simulate that now, you basically hold this down. And now this mount is basically a friction and tension mount only, which can be useful depending on what kind of scenarios you're using your nods in. So we're gonna need some tools for this installation. First off, Nocturne Industries does recommend you guys use safety goggles for this installation because we are working with ball bearings under tension. We do wanna make sure that nobody loses an eye over this. So let's put these on. So you're gonna need three Imperial Allen keys for this of various sizes for all the function of this mount. One is going to be a 0 0.05 Allen key. The next one is going to be a 1 16th Allen key. And then the largest Allen key you're gonna need is a 5 64th Allen key. I'll put all these over here somewhere, including the torque specs you need for each screw. So to turn this into an FTO mount, we don't need the tinier Allen key. So we're gonna move that out of the way. We're also gonna move this out of the way for now. And we're gonna start off with our 5 64th Allen key over here. So if you turn this mount to the side, you're going to notice there is kind of this axle screw over here that needs to be removed first. Do not remove the one inside the tilt adjustment screw because that one is specially Loctited in. I find that you're gonna sometimes need to play with the tilt of this just to get that screw in position. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to put this guy in here and unscrew this part that holds the mount together. So you'll notice it doesn't screw out really all the way because it's really only threaded for this section of the mount. Once it kind of stops moving and you have it unscrewed all the way it can, you're gonna take your fingers and you're simply gonna pull that screw out and it should come out like so. Set this off to the side, you're gonna need that for a later bit. Once the mount has the screw out, you're going to kind of tilt the mount up and you're gonna notice that this is kind of where all the magic of the alpha mount works. So you see these three holes, these are the holes that actually act as the ball and detent section of the locking portions of this mount that create a lot of tension for this mount that prevent this mount from wobbling like other mounts on the market. What you're gonna wanna do is deload these bearings. And that spring tension is actually held via small set screws over here in the rear. So before doing that, I recommend taking your screw that you just took out and putting that back in. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to press the button down. You're gonna basically turn this until the screws are exposed on that side. So it's a bit of a halfway point like this where it's not exactly locked up or down, but you're going to see that these silver bits of the screw holes are exposed. Then you're gonna take your 1 16th Allen key and you're going to put it in here and unscrew it all the way to deload the bearings. Once you have it unscrewed all the way, you're gonna feel it lock out against this bit of steel over here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna give it like a quarter turn in so it doesn't brush up against that material. And then very carefully, you're gonna take the axle pin kind of out like that. And if you're going to rotate this out so that this lever can come out kind of halfway like that. And then you're going to pull the locking tab out. So you wanna save this in case you need it for later. And then you're also going to take that little spring out. So this can be set aside, and I recommend putting that in a box or something for safe storage. Once that's done, we're gonna put it all back together. So if you have a bearing fallout in that process, like I did there, you're just gonna put the bearing back in, and because these are deloaded, it's actually very, very easy to get back in place. So there you go. You push that bearing back in place, and as you can see, it's in these little holes over there, so you're good to go. You're gonna flip that around, you're gonna put your pin back in, and you're going to reload those bearings. I actually like to reload them relatively tight. So you take your 1 16th screw, you kind of screw it, them in pretty much all the way in, uh, and that'll give you a really, really nice bearing pressure on the detents. So once the bearings are reloaded back into position, just deploy them out as so, so it's locked out. And then you're going to move that carefully back into alignment and stick this pivot screw back into the pivot. And then you're gonna take your 5 64th Allen key and you're gonna screw that all the way in to convert it to an FTO mount. Give it a few deployments, 
And as you can see, this mount now is a full force to overcome mount, which is pretty cool that Nocturne gives users the ability to configure this mount to their preferences. All right, so now that that's converted to an FTO mount, let's go into the other functions of the mount. So first off, we're gonna have a look at these over here, which are customizable little rubber bumper plates. So these can be added to shim the mount into position if your shroud is too loose or too tight. If it's too tight, you obviously take all of them out. If it's too loose, you can put these little guys in the bottom over here and this big one in the top over here. And that basically acts as a rubber shim. So when you install this, you have to kind of press it in all the way and get that really, really positive wobble-free lockup that a lot of us night vision nerds love to have. Now over time, because these are mechanically moving parts, parts can loosen up, but Nocturne has also thought of that. So you can basically tighten every interface of this mount. So for example, going on what we said earlier, you can tighten the ball bearings in here to have a tighter or slightly looser force to overcome. You can also tighten this area so that way you have a really wobble-free hinge. And what's really neat is that you can tighten both the height adjustment and the throw adjustment of this mount. So over here, we're gonna now go to our 0.05 inch hex key. And there's two tiny little nylon tip screws in here that you can loosen or tighten to your preference. In this case, a little bit goes a long way. I find these out of box to be already really tightly adjusted, but if you, for example, want it to be extra tight and you don't even like that tiny, tiny little bit of tolerance level that it has, you can basically take your Allen key and tighten these slightly. Sometimes even like a 1 16th turn is enough to really, really lock that in place to have absolutely no wobble. You can do the same thing to the carriage over here, where beside the button over here that adjusts the throw, this one's already actually really, really tight out of the box, you can adjust these two little nylon tip screws here to have the tension that you need. So that way this mount can be fully customized to your preference. And for this mount, that's already got a lot of friction, so it doesn't really slide too easily. But when it locks in place, that thing is not going anywhere. And as you can see, this whole thing is super, super stiff and has great lockup, even without the locking tab on the hinge. So that about covers everything for the Nocturne Industries Alpha Mount. Cool little mount, lots of awesome features, and now available in black or FDE. Thanks for watching, everybody.